Um, and also a thing that I was extremely excited to watch. I watched the documentary on the Malice in the Palace on Netflix. And I remember watching that game when I was like 14, maybe 15. Um, the Pacers were legitimately the best team in the league that year. Everybody thought they were going to finally win a ring. Everybody thought Reggie Miller's going to win a championship. Hell yeah. And then that night happened, and their second best player gets suspended for the rest of the season. Their best player got like 25 games. Their third best player got like 30 games. Um, People got arrested. People got trampled. Oh People my God. got punched. Was anybody, did anybody die? This was insane. Wait, 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 you wait. have to watch this, okay, bro. Okay, well, are we going to talk? Malice in the Palace? Malice in the Palace. I want to watch it. Yeah, yeah. Wait, so. I don't think anybody died, but can you look that up, Jake? Okay, uh, yeah. so the yeah. second guy, so they had like, I saw there was like 16 cameras on, like there's a bunch of cameras doing it live, so they had like, able to, to do it like. It was kinda, a televised kinda like, kinda like game. Kind of like, shout out to Capitol Riots, yeah. those fucking treasonous pieces of shit, having so many <laughs> different angles of what they were doing. I mean, it's just so wild. Consider, like, consider where the it is. The culprits like, being their own rap fucking snitches. You it's, know? It's, Fuck it's these rap motherfuckers. Snitches. <laughs> Tell it on it. Shout out rap snitches. <laughs> hey, Matt, motherfucking dude. I'm sorry, continue. I gotta, I gotta go get the pizza. They moved the barricades <laughs> to let them people in. Unless <laughs> we forget. But like, there's literally like, who they play against? Uh, it was the Pacers versus the Pistons okay. in Detroit. Just curious. Um, and after there was a, a hard foul from Ron Artest on Ben Wallace, uh, a fight almost breaks out. Ben Wallace is pissed. His brother just died, so he was going through shit. And he just kind of lost it. He was like, oh, I'm going to fucking kill you. And Ben Wallace is a big, scary motherfucker. And uh, Ron Artest, who's also not wrapped too tight, at this point he's just like, let me let me go take a minute to calm down. You can see him kind of counting, and yeah. then he lies down on the scores table, so it's kind of um, uh, antagonistic. I'll say that. And uh, somebody from the crowd throws a beer on him. Oh, I know what this he is. He runs okay. into the stands, oh, runs yeah. past the guy that threw the beer, punches the wrong guy. Oh, shit. Dude, yeah. The, okay, the audience, the crowd starts swarming on Ron Artest. And Steven Jackson, the best friend you could possibly have, runs into the stands after Ron Artest and just starts throwing haymakers. Just falcon punching motherfuckers. <laughs> and... <laughs> Look, this is the the video. This is it. This is it. Okay, I know what this is. Foul, Foul, hard foul. Oh, shit. It's like, I'm going to kill you. (laughs) Ron Artest lays down on the scorer's table. That is antagonistic. They're trying to separate them. Oh, Somebody throws shit. a beer. He's gone. Wrong guy. The guy in the blue is the one that threw it. So that guy's throwing board. Steven Jackson, the realist. <laughs> seen the whole video yeah like, Jermaine know. O'Neal punched this guy it looked like he had been shot oh my God. he just was stunned fans are on the court Oh, oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Insane. You have to watch this. It's on Netflix, and it is damn good. It's bad. It was so bad. So what just happened? Um, the Indiana Pacers and the Detroit Pistons had a very real rivalry. Uh, the year before, the Pistons beat the Pacers in um, the conference finals. They went on to go to the finals and they won a championship. If Indiana had won that series, they would have won a title. Um, and Indiana lost for basically stupid, hot-headed reasons. Like, uh, Ron Artest got a technical foul. Oh, okay. um, so, they, they, the following year, the Pacers were legitimately the best team in the league. It looked like, oh, this is their year. They're finally going to win. And uh, they were playing their rival, the Detroit Pistons, uh, who had beaten them the year before. And throughout the whole game, they're just beating the shit out of them. They they were up by like twenty at one point. I think at this point they're up by fifteen, and um, the pit it was just chippy to say the least. Um, Ron Artest had gotten fouled pretty hard earlier in the game, and uh, towards the end, when they knew that they were going to win the game, Jamal Tinsley. Tells Ron Artest, you can go get your foul back if you want. It doesn't matter now. So, Ron Artest being the crazy person that he was at the time. Sorry, that's an ableist term. Uh, Ron Artest had some um, rage issues. I'll say that. Uh, he gets a hard foul on he, Ben Wallace. He checks the shit out of him. And he fouled him real hard. And Ben Wallace is like... That was completely unnecessary. He goes up and he mushes the shit out of him in his face. Ron Artest, you can see it. He's, like, ready to, like, snap. But then he takes a minute. He's, like, counting. And he lies down on the table, which is somewhat antagonistic. Uh, One of the fans throws a beer on Ron Artest. Ron Artest runs into the crowd to confront, to punch the person that threw the beer on him. Um, He hits the wrong person. Um, all of a sudden, the crowd starts swarming on Ron Artest. People are throwing stuff on him, throwing drinks in his face, hitting him in the back of his head. Steven Jackson runs into the audience to save Ron Artest, and it's just, like, hitting people. Uh, Reggie Miller goes in to try and pull people out. Um, Tins Lee runs in to try to pull out his teammates, and the crowd is just going onto the court. Uh... People are fighting on the court itself, in the stands, and how many brawls are happening insane. at one given point? Dude? So many, it's like a riot. So it's basically like think, a riot. But they think anybody ever calculated how many fi- fights like were happening at exactly the same time? I have like no eight? idea. Think of, okay, how many? How many dozen? Which how I mean, many? look at it. They're, look at all those people. All okay. of these people. Can I get the 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 D the side? The non-silent estimate of how many pairs of people, if not, uh, were, were throwing hands. Pairs at, of people. Were throwing hands at exactly Well, it was time. basically Detroit the, the, versus the Pacers. Um, so Ron Artest, Jermaine O'Neal, Steven Jackson, Jamal Tinsley. But, but, but versus, were there, were there just random fans beating each other up just for no reason? Not, not really. Not, okay. They were all attacking the players. All right. and specifically of... That team. The Pacers, yeah. Their home what, what I will say about the the city of Detroit is those motherfuckers stuck together that night, and they're fucking insane. But that they stuck together. 
on both sides. Steven Jackson is also the realest person in in the whole situation. He ran down on in, into a crowd of people just to help his teammate. That's some ill shit. Uh, everybody needs a friend like Steven Jackson. Sure. Um, yeah, it sounds like a friend like Reggie Miller trying to pull you out of the fight. Like, yeah. Oh, come on, come on, come on. So, Reggie Miller was the oldest guy on the team. You know, he... he was, you know, Reggie Miller was the shit in the nineties. Like he was he battled Jordan. But at this point Jordan's retired. Reggie Miller's been in the league for eighteen years. He's an older guy. And he's the oldest player on that team. He's the, the mentor. He is the the leader. But it's no long he's no longer the best player on the team at that point. Um so yes, watch that documentary. It's hella good. Malice in the uh, Palace. Malice in the Palace. Um, and uh, yeah, that's all I've been on.